The messages you are receiving are on behalf of all of us, the next generation. In Copenhagen, at the largest carbon neutral global sea are both uh, low emission scenarios. This country and the world elect to take serious. You use these words to sound like there's progress, but all we see are empty and broken promises. Let's talk more action. Today, when we witness the disappearance of islands and glaciers that we've never been to, of animals we've never seen, rich cultures we'll never experience. I can't help but think, what will we see? What will our children see? Will we see more natural disasters? Will we run out of water before we run out of oil? Will we have enough clean air to breathe? Will we be able to feed our families? Will we see the end of mankind? Or will we see a beautiful, sustainable world due to the united actions of our nations? Because when one nation falls to war, poverty, or natural disasters, we have all failed our neighbors, our families, and ourselves. Show us initiative. Show us change. Show us empowerment. Show us leadership. Are you ready to take the first step? Because we are. Youth around the world are taking action, developing new ways to generate energy and adapt. You all know the solutions that have existed for decades. Floating schools and gardens in floodplains. Renewable energy. Drip irrigation in drought-prone areas. Improved public transportation. Rainwater harvesting. Recycling. We thought you had all the answers. But then why do we still have questions? You say solutions are expensive, but we are spending on weapons and bombs? Why do we spend so much on defense and neglect the biggest national and global security crisis, climate change? Why can't we spend as much on disaster prevention as we do on disaster relief? Every year, we build new coal plants that include our air for 40 years. Alternative energy technologies already exist. Developing nations are making the same mistakes that the developed ones did. When will you promote innovation the way you promote industrialization so that their future growth won't harm others? Polluting technologies are still located in the poorest areas. Don't children in the Bronx, in Lagos, in Shanghai, and all over the world have the right to clean air and clean water? Instead of investing in so many problems, why not invest in solutions? You're investing in our future, and we want to work in a green economy that protects our health, our jobs, and our environment. We are ready to come together to make a difference. Are you? We are the ones who will inherit your choices, but what will we inherit? Are you here to just talk, or are you here to take action in Copenhagen? Right now, most of you are failing us as global citizens and role models. Will you put your political success on the line for the planet? Will you stop prioritizing your nation's needs and start prioritizing our world's needs? Wouldn't it be better to be known as the first country to change and contribute than the last one to compromise and commit? You've been talking since before we were born. Now, we need to work together. It's not a choice anymore. Time is up.